is the Tad Show. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you something right now. Go a little old school. Go a little old school for you guys. Tell you guys a little story real quick here. Boys and girls, pull up your stools. It is now time for Taz Tales. So I remember it was a deal on SmackDown, and um, I was a commentator, and there was some kind of a problem, a technical problem. We weren't live at that time. SmackDown used to be live to tape. So we would just tape it, and then it would air two days later. This one used to air on Thursdays. We would tape it on Tuesdays. I don't remember what town we were in. And then it was a deal where... um, Kevin Dunn and Vince both got my ear almost at the same time. Taz, grab a live mic. Uh, we got a problem. You got to eat up, you know, time. I go, no problem. How much time? They go, we don't know. We'll, we'll give you a hand signal. For the, someone will give you a hand signal. The stage manager will give you like a hand signal when to wrap it up. So what song did you sing? No, I didn't <laughs> sing. But, but the, so the thing is like, so just think about what I just said. Like, so I'm being told. I'm just going to sound like I'm self-serving, put myself over. I'm really not. I'm being told. We need to keep the live audience, in essence, this is what I'm being told, in a nutshell. We need to keep the live audience intact here so the natives don't get restless. While we're fixing this tech issue, this won't make TV. This is all I'm being told in one sentence, but I know what the sentence means. Get on the mic, keep them entertained, and all I want to know is how long you need. They couldn't even tell me that. Because there's a technical problem. No problem. Point in me telling, and I go in the ring, and then I had some fun with people, and it was almost like a, uh, it was almost like I was heckling the audience, and we had a good time with it, and then, and then it was just, and then it ended up being that every week I started doing, they want, Vince wanted to do the kiss cam. We'd have the kiss cam, and this never made TV, and then I would, of course, Vince was entertained by it. He just thought it was hysterical where I would interact with the people. So, but now again, I don't, I'm not putting myself over. My point in telling you guys this about the microphone and what happened during the break, and this Taz tale is this. There aren't a lot of people in this generation, from what I understand, and I, 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 I love the new generation of wrestlers, but I do think that they're being handheld a little too much, and it's not their fault. There aren't many people, even that are broadcasters now in wrestling, that if they're told that, are going to be able to go in the ring and hold the audience, which I ended up cutting a nine-minute promo <laughs> in the ring. No script, no nothing. And my material was the audience. And one of the things I'm most terrified of is of stand-up comedy. I, I've never done it, and I never want to do it. People say, oh, you should do it. No, I'm not. I'm not that funny. Okay, I have no interest in doing it. I, that's a tough job. But point is, there aren't many guys that can do that today. And it's, I'm not bragging to put myself over. What I'm saying is my generation, there were a lot of guys that could. If you ask JBL to do that as a commentator during the break, he can. He can do that with his eyes closed. I'm talking about color commentators, not play-by-play guys. All the play-by-play guys can do it. Jim Ross, Joey Styles, um, oh my God! Mike Tenay, uh, Michael Cole, Mauro Ronaldo of, of current, uh, Kevin Kelly, Ring of Honor. These guys can do it. But there aren't many color commentators, ex-wrestlers, or current wrestlers that are doing commentary that are younger that can go and do that. They're going to poop their pants when Kevin Dunn tells them, we have the mic, cut a promo. What do you want me to say? That's what they're going to say. That's the last thing that came out of my mouth because I'm not going to say that to you. Because if I tell them what am I going to say, that shows weakness, that I'm not talented enough. And I'm, I'm pussing out for the challenge. That's how I think. I don't, you're not telling me what to say and I'm not asking you. I just want to know the time. So it's a different generation now, and it's not these kids' fault. It's just they're handheld. They're micromanaged. It's because the production of the TV end of the business is so much bigger now that the referees all are, in essence, stage managers. <laughs> and and the, the wrestlers are just role players and just face this camera, do this, go that way, go that way, move this way. Okay, uh, you know, tell them to grab a hold. Tell them to grab a hold. He's got to grab a hold now. Tell them to grab a hold. Like, you know. I, 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 I can't work that way. If I was still wrestling and you did that to me, I, I'm done. I'm taking my boots off, drop them in the middle of the ring. You can wear them. I'm out. I'll see you later. F you. I, I don't hold my hand.